what's up guys so you guys saw me cutting up some of these panels I went this route and the reason I did this is because I don't fall oh, because of this so I can step on it I can walk on it and then later on what I'm planning on doing is probably going to put some wood panels here and make this into basically a platform so I can basically just uh, you know put a tent up here put anything I mean I can just walk up here put a bunch of uh, stuff I need to haul stuff or whatever you know for camping or anything any kind of gear so right now I had these um, these metal studs that I picked up um, off of a uh, job site that was basically they were throwing it away and what I did I just picked it up and a friend of mine helped me out and uh, yeah I just cut these up you guys saw me cutting these uh, parts up like that and then just hammer them down to the side and I was going to weld these parts but welding is so uh, so permanent and I didn't want these to be that permanent so that way or this way I should say I can actually just remove these panels if I need to I can uh, put something else I don't have to put the mesh I can just board it up and you know uh, maybe put some uh, wood finish on it or something so we'll see where that goes but for now this is what I did and if you guys can see I actually bought these nice long uh, 90 to 100 millimeter screws and and this thing is actually in place I mean they're they are not moving I only have four screws but this thing is not moving so uh, with that being said I drilled a couple more holes to put uh, more screws and I have these uh, these thick rubbery plastic uh, things uh, between this and the other metal which will kind of cushion it and also uh, keep it from moving too much or making any sound so it's kind of elevated and uh, yeah so that's uh, that's what I'm uh, going to do now next thing I'm going to uh, take the whole thing down with some help because this thing is a little heavy now and I'm going to give it a nice uh, black paint maybe semi-gloss maybe matte black so everything's going to be black next time you see it and that'll be the next step let's get it done what's up guys now I finally got this thing done taken care of with the paint I went with the uh, gray uh, primer and then I went with a matte black and it's actually called ultra matte black uh, from rust-oleum it actually looked it came out pretty good I actually uh, like it I uh, went about three some places four coats uh, like underneath and it actually looks really good so uh, next step uh, I'm gonna need some help to put this thing up there because it's heavy as hell so I'm gonna put it up there and uh, put the bottom pieces and uh, mount it up and we'll see uh, how it looks from up top and from the bottom let's get it done all right guys finally had some help putting this thing up there it was really heavy so final product done the big lifted excursion has a roof rack now a full-size one and sorry about the sun the day kind of went on a little quicker and it took me a little longer to get this thing up there 
But as you guys can see, I painted that thing matte black. And now I'm gonna get up there and show you guys a view of the top and see how it looks from the top. All right, so this is the view from the top. And as you guys can see, full size, front to back, and all the panels are painted black, that matte, ultra matte black, I should say. And I kind of like it. I uh, bought some extra cans of this thing. And I gotta say, the primer and then uh, about three, almost four coats of uh, the matte black. It looks pretty good. And as you guys can see, oh, this thing, the whole truck is shaking. And this thing is mounted on there. So what I did was every two or three right into the hole, I mounted them right into the rack hole. So basically the track you see there had about eight or 10 screws and I took off four on each side and I went and bought some screws from Home Depot. And I should have the size of the screws in the description below. If not, I, uh, it was the uh, six, 6 6.0 uh, millimeter by 90 to 100 millimeter, the length. And yes, it did go all the way through. So as you guys can see the height of this thing, and then going digging all the way through at first i thought it was only going to be about maybe uh half an inch or so deep but then it actually kept on going uh and i'm kind of glad it went deeper than that so uh pretty satisfied with how this came out and again uh i knew i said i was going to go with the mesh top uh, and weld it or anything but like i said it you know earlier in the video i did not want that to be permanent because i might change this uh down the line or something so with this thing what i was thinking about is i can actually walk on this without any problems and on top of that i can actually put uh some really nice uh wood panels up here so i can just have a platform here uh, and I, I think that's, uh, you know, the kind of route I, I wanted to go, you know, later on. But for now, uh, it looks awesome. I like it. Uh, I might even add a few, uh, you know, LED lights in the front and in the back, a couple of pods maybe or a bar. And then I have another bar and maybe a pod, you know, a uh, set of pods in the front. So we'll, uh, you know, we'll uh, make this thing even better. But for now, I think get this thing mounted really good. And uh, to do a uh, kind of price wise, uh, you guys saw in the other video that I pretty much got this thing for free. Uh, the, these bars, the studs, uh, I told you guys I got them for free because they were, um, I guess, reclaimed uh, metal from a job site, uh, which a friend of mine helped me with. So those were free. And the only thing I paid for were the screws and these, uh, these washers. So pretty much, uh, I think I paid about for all the screws and washers, I believe it was $22. Uh, they were kind of pricey. So uh, yeah, and then uh, under each of these screws, I have rubber blocks uh, so that it doesn't grind or make any noise like metal to metal noise. So it's actually elevated, but they're really nicely uh, squeezed in. So, so that's how much room I have basically there. And as you guys can see, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of glad I went this route. And then I'm going to go ahead uh, and block off that top bar there once I found the right size. Um, and I mean, you know, all in all, it came out pretty good. It makes the uh, ride look a lot better. And yeah, uh, one more thing made better in the uh, lifted 2000 Ford Excursion. And thanks again uh, for watching and keep up with the videos and I'm going to do a lot more with this uh, truck and we'll see you guys in the next one.